were giving a 2% chance to survive. He said a 2% chance to survive, but Sergio's will to survive helped him defy the odds time and time again. The one-time rapper has cheated death more than once, fighting his way back when others made a, might have just simply given up. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards has a look at the daunting challenges he's faced as a survivor who now wants to share his message of hope. Sergio McGee is 45 years old. He's had fame and success. He's also dodged death multiple times. When others see the impossible, Sergio sees the possible. Sergio McGee was well known in the music industry as rapper iRock, releasing three CDs and even having hits on local radio stations. It's been a long time in the making. Now I might be new to a few, but I've been waiting. He also had a new job in August 2010 at a local plant. It was his second work day when he suddenly, mysteriously collapsed. The hospital still don't know to this day. My temperature 107.5. I died in the ambulance. Sergio, then 39, was revived and remained in a coma for three months. He says every organ shut down. He was on a feeding tube and hooked to 17 machines. Then they were giving me a 2% chance to survive. Then if I did survive, I would be brand dead. Sergio was no stranger to beating death. In 1990, he was shot six times. So he wasn't going to give up this time. And in December 2010, Sergio opened his eyes. He was taken to his first nursing home in February 2011, where he suffered neglect by the staff. He was sent to the hospital for an infected bed sore and more. When I went to the hospital, the lady found him within a minute. I had a blood clot right above my knee. Doctors told him he almost died again. He was eventually moved to Imperial Nursing and Rehabilitation Center in Dearborn Heights in April 2011. But as a quadriplegic, hope was running out. The first two months, I was like, woe is me, you know. Uh, I found myself questioning God, like, why am I survived to live this way, you know? I had to do something to try to change my situation. So I started trying to move maybe like once or twice an hour or whatever. So after several months of doing that, I finally was able to move a little bit. So I got so excited, I was crying. It was enough of a sign to keep going. And then this happened. Ready? Sergio has still a long way to go and a lot of therapy. But for someone who has been told over and over what he can't do, with the help of his guardian, Aline Gunter, Sergio has proven to everyone what he can do. I believe faith and determination because I have three kids and my daughter about to be 21 at the end of this month and she may get married one day. I want to walk her down the aisle. A lot of people don't understand, you know, what it's like to not be able to do things for yourself. They take everything for granted in life. And I think, you know, he is here as a reminder of that, like life is precious and, and don't let anything stop you. And Sergio says that one day he plans to be a motivational speaker and encourage others that they can do anything. He's also putting the finishing touches on his autobiography, and his church has set up a GoFundMe page to help him with publishing costs. Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Wow, the will to live, and amazing that he's even moving a little bit. It's a definition of perseverance to stay at the faith.